we're doing this thing where we're selling water in the villages to women uh, who don't have access to clean drinking water. And, and the critical part of doing this is developing a, grand, uh, a, a brand. And, and so uh, there is a group of women in one remote rural village in Orissa who formed seven years ago a self-help group. Uh, it's a government initiative of self-help groups. They bought some cattle, they're selling some milk, they made some money, and now they're very interested in selling water. So in the last trip, we took a sample of the water from a contaminated well that they were using. We added uh, some chlorine in the prescribed amount, uh, tested it, and it tested safe. So we drank it. All of us drank it. All the visitors did. Uh, that made more of an impact than I thought. So when we came back, they have, uh, they have one of these shops already. And they're setting up a cement tank, and they're going to sell water. Their way of selling water is different than in the other places, because there are five other self-help groups in their village each of them with 10 to 15 members. They've recruited each of those self-help groups and the women in those self-help groups are going to pay a, 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 a upfront amount every 10 days. So they've already got themselves 75 built-in customers in addition to the 15. That they, so they've got 100 customers already, uh, families. Uh, now they have a 1,000 liter cement tank and we're saying to them, we want to create a brand. Uh, what's your advice on creating, uh, on, on what the brand should be? They did not respond very well to that question. It was too, too general. So then I said, well, what we're thinking of is this cement tank has three rings. We're thinking of making one of those rings a really strong color, just like the Olympics. So that would be a symbol, or, or like McDonald's arches. Uh, and then we want to have a name and a symbol for water. We want the tank to look like a water bottle. They love that idea. And, and then I said, what color should we use for the band? Well, uh, you know, I'm big on nonverbal, not verbal. When, when I asked about color, they, it became a real hen house. They were all saying, bah, 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 you know, and they, and they were all talking over each other. And they said, uh, the band should be a strong blue color. But the other thing is, uh, you ought to consider red because uh, red is the color of the lion goddess. And I said, well, that's interesting, but uh, this, this is a company that has to work in all of India, is the lion goddess respected all over India, yeah, they said. It might work in other places too. Uh, but they said, you know, branding is very important. And uh, if you put your brand above that ring, we want our brand to be first. Well, the guy that was with me, uh, Dave Taylor, he's more of a smart ass than I am. And he's the CEO of Ball Aerospace. He's very interested in this. He was blown away. I mean, he had never been to India. And uh, of course, he had read my book and it said that people in villages are entrepreneurs. He had no uh, idea that women who are poor on a dollar a day in a village understand brand, have their own ideas about brand. It's amazing. but. Those were helpful ideas.